all swell and jolly for you guys. I hope I'm not yelling. I'm scratching and stuff. Anyway, sorry. So, hi. Oh, my gosh. It's been so, so long since my last post. It's been over a month. And life has been different. It's been interesting. It's been bad. It's been crazy. It's just been life, and I haven't gotten a chance to update. But I'm back. Hot damn. I'm back. So what are we going to talk about? Oh, and don't mind the bonnet. I mean, I know I'm always in the bonnet, but I also have, like, this do-rag thing going on under it. I'm trying to lay my hair down for the bonnet. Anyway. So, guys. Okay, what are we going to talk about? Um, Health. Let's talk about health. So, a couple of weeks ago, I turned 28. Happy, you know, birthday to me and all that jazz. Woo, 28. So, um, a week before my birthday, I went to the doctor for whatever reason. I decided that I was going to get, you know, blood work done, you know, get tested, all that stuff. You know, be the responsible adult that I always need to be. So, I got my results back a couple of days before my birthday and everything was fine. Like, no STDs, no STIs, no major health that no major health scares except for the one diagnosis that I did receive. So apparently, I am pre-diabetic and borderline high and have borderline high blood pressure. Now, what both means that I do not have either diabetes or high blood pressure, but I am at a very high risk of con of contracting, of getting both of them. And I didn't know how to feel about it. I still don't know how to feel about it. Like, on the one hand, you know, high blood pressure and diabetes runs in my family. And that's super scary. Like, I don't want to be on insulin and pills for the rest of my life. That's not what I want to do. On the other hand, I'm kind of in disbelief. Like, I know I'm not the healthiest person out there. I mean, check out the neck fat. Speaking of the neck fat, I had a dream that the neck fat was flapping. Totally scary. But anyway, so it, it's just like, I, I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I know that I have to change certain things about my lifestyle. Like, I, I've always said I need to work out and I need to eat better. But I always find that I I just don't. Like, I just, I'm way too lazy to do both. But, like, with the with the diagnosis, you know, I'm pre-diabetic and borderline high blood pressure. It's like, I, I really need to get on it. I really, really do. So, um, you know, it's been a couple of weeks now. I've been looking at different recipes and, you know, different things that I could do throughout my day to, you know, reverse the diagnosis. So, you know, started tomorrow and I always have this start where I'm going to start exercising. That's a story where I'm going to start exercising and doing this, that, and the third. Well, beginning tomorrow, I'm going to try this 10-week um, non-gym workout plan, which should help me because it's not the gym. And then my boyfriend and I eventually will start running every weekend at Six o'clock in the morning. I was not excited. So, um, yeah. So, I, I really want to do the non-gym thing because, honestly, the gym has never really been for me. I've never been one to like, yay, let's go to the gym. I mean, I go on a binge and I'm like, yes, I can do this, I can do this. But at the end of the day, I don't want to be in the gym. That's just not my thing. I am more of an outside person. I'd rather be outside working out and taking walks and doing this, that, and the third. So, um... I'm going to try this 10-week at-home workout. But speaking of the gym, so I went to the gym. I went to the gym like a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, and I was on a treadmill, right? I was like, all right, I'm going to start jogging. So I'm jogging. I'm on the phone at the same time, so I'm jogging. Then I caught a cramp in my arm. I'm like, oh, shit, I got a cramp. I'm on the phone with my sister. And then I close my eyes, and I'm jogging. I'm doing good. You know, I'm like trying to hit the three-minute mark. I'm doing good. But then I open my eyes. And when I open my eyes, I realize I am at the back of the treadmill and I'm falling off of this bitch. I panicked. I was like, oh shit, oh shit. And then the line went dead. That's all my sister heard. It was super funny. So I didn't actually hit the floor or fly into the um, wall, which was behind me. But my toes did hit the floor in a way that I was able to jump up and put myself back on the treadmill. I don't know why. But in my mind, I figured if you're not running on the treadmill, the treadmill stops. That's not how that works. So I was struggling to get back on. Finally, I found my pace. Even though I was looking at the sides, I was like, maybe you should just jump on the sides. But I finally found my pace, and I was able to turn the treadmill off. I called my sister back, and we had a laugh about it. And it's been a laugh for a while now because I almost died at the damn gym. The treadmill tried to take me out, and I'm not happy about it, but whatever. So, um, yeah, yeah, I decided that I'm not going back to the gym. 
I've already always been on the fence about the gym, and I just don't think it's for me. And now, like, the treadmill's trying to take me out, so I was like, oh, no, not good. But um, other than that, like, I'm just trying to eat better or whatever. Um, You know, I can eat what I've been eating, limit the bad stuff, take out the sugars. I've been trying to eat breakfast more often. I think, like, this whole week, even if I had to be to work at 11 o'clock, I've been waking up at 6 so I can, you know, take care of Cody, have a balanced breakfast, have lunch, have my snack, and, you know, be happy about everything but yeah that diagnosis was was kind of scary um and I'm, I'm just trying to i'm just trying to get it and be happy but sorry 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 about cody but in any case guys be happy be merry i'm glad to be back